All right. So I wasn't able to get the hood perfectly aligned with these struts. There's some other stuff that I got to fix in the meantime, but I figured I would appease everyone that's reached out by just giving them a little quick walk around on the truck, showing them where it's at and what's holding me up and uh, what I got to fix before I can even work on those hood struts. So this is my, this is my 1951. It's called a 1300 because it's the Canadian model. Got the uh, VIN plate right here. That's that guy right there. Model 1314. So, I started this about two years ago and it has been a huge learning curve. I have attempted to do everything myself, bought an English wheel, bought a planishing hammer, body uh, sawhorse or panel sawhorses, all that good stuff. I've learned how to weld, I've learned how to TIG weld, all that good stuff. So my initial idea for this guy was a period correct 50s lowered hot rod truck. So this is where it's sitting at right now. So the frame is mostly complete. What I do have left to do is complete the boxing plates on the back half, starting right about here. You can see how it's just tacked. And I have to finish the welds on the gussets on that interior structure. So, and obviously, well not obviously, but I also have to finish welding the triangulated four link in. Couple little things left to do in here. I have the bed wood that I need to complete. I laid out the initial frame, kind of the initial structure perimeter here because I raised the bed a little bit to accommodate those C notches. I have to correct this guy in here. So this is the, I don't know what you'd call it. It's the back of the box, the back of the structure that comes up, but normally the bed wood butts against there. So I actually need to elevate this. I need to create a larger piece that comes up to the height of where the wood's going to be. So. I already know what kind of design I need because I previously made a new panel for right here. That's all new steel that runs across there. I designed it in CAD and I had it broke uh, into the correct angles, but I did it the original size. So now I just gotta make it larger. So brand new box on this, brand new fenders. In order for me to fit those 235, 75, 15 wheels, I had to remove the inner reinforcement on these fenders. So I drilled out the rivets there, there, and on the back and removed them there. So, and those are brand new fenders as well. Those are from Counterpart Automotive. Runny boards are the originals that came on the truck. Although this one here, it was seriously damaged all across there, bent up. So what I actually did is I went and got a running board from a three quarter ton cut off the front of it, cut off the front of mine that was damaged and I welded a new one in. Turned out all right. You can see a little bit of my welds right in there. I did hit it with a little bit of primer just to save it. We got new cab corners on here. We got new cowls on the front. What else do we got here? I have done an entirely new floor pan on this. All new floor pan. All new custom firewall, all new custom transmission tunnel, everything. I actually recessed the engine. I brought it back. That's why that looks like that to accommodate the engine, which I'll show you here in a minute. I did a little bit of custom work on this lower piece that hangs down because I'm putting custom uh, air conditioning controls in there. Previous guy had attempted to correct some damage to this. Someone had cut out a big ugly hole for a more modern stereo in the 80s I believe it was and then another guy came in and tried to repair it and this was full of Bondo so I actually cut this out of another truck that was damaged you can see my weld marks right there and I just spliced it in so you can't really see that spot on that side but there you go and then it comes down just underneath right there you can see it just underneath that bolt hole Another little thing that I did here is this speed 
speedo right here. That same dash that I removed from another truck, I actually cut this section out of the other truck and I spliced it into here to make this smooth so it didn't have that little groove there. So I think it looks pretty good, turned out all right. Quite a bit of work left to do in this guy. We'll crawl over there. And that is a seat out of an 88, I believe, to 98 GMC half ton. Got that off a uh, local buy and sell. Same thing with this guy. This is an OG original Fulton Sunshade. So from the 40s and 50s. I just started stripping it down. So these are aluminum. So they're pretty soft, so you have to be pretty uh, careful with them. I didn't want to get too crazy. I'm going to have to disassemble it to complete the rest. I've done the majority of the steel work on this. This is my first go at any of this, so it isn't perfect. I've tried to get it as close to, as possible. There's a little bit right there. This fender was pretty hammered up. You can see some of the, what I've corrected. Um, there's a huge bend that increased that ran across here. It actually ran the entire length of the truck, including that fender, or sorry, the running board that got hit, and that rear fender that got hit. So that's why I replaced the rear, because the rear was pretty complex and had quite a bit more damage. The front, I was able to salvage with my newly acquired planishing hammer. This little apron in here, that's original. There's quite a bit of damage to this that I had to fix. Brand new bumper, brand new grill. And I will show you the good stuff. If I can get this guy open now. Doesn't like to open. Here, stand by. I'll see if I can open this thing. So I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that. That is a 5.3 liter L33 aluminum block LS from the 2004 to 2007 Chevy extended cab or GMC extended cab Z71s, half tons. So that's a really good engine, comes high output, has really good heads on it. I did completely disassemble it I had it uh, all remachined and cleaned up. I put all new internals in it. It's got the original crank in it. I just polished the crank. It's got a new camshaft. It has a whole bunch of new valves. All the, uh, all the top half of the engine is rebuilt. All new springs, all new uh, trunnions. It's got a trunnion kit, so it's got the nice brass, uh, full solid bearings instead of the little roller bearings. Those are ultimate headers. So those are long tube headers. They're one and seven eighths. Uh, collectors and then they go to uh, or sorry primaries one and seven eighths primaries to a three inch collector so it's pretty cool that is a we'll move on to the pulley kit sorry you're probably getting blinded by that light the pulley kit there is from a i believe it's the f body i believe that is like a firebird camaro from late 90s early 2000s that is a truck alternator, Camaro power steering pump, and the truck a harmonic balancer with an ICT billet uh, bracket kit. So you can't really see it and I don't wanna really drop my phone down in there, so I can show that another time. Yeah, and then uh, just kinda of shined it up and tried to make it look a little 50s. So far it's turned out pretty well. So currently this truck is sitting at I'll show you the goods here. Got my trusty old ruler. If I drop this down, that is just under four inches. So that is ride height. So I did quite a few calculations here and you can kind of see through this fender there. That lower control arm, here I'll show you this. Ooh. Sorry about that. OK, 
can't really see it, sorry about that. The lower control arm is perfectly parallel with the ground. I've just got some wood holding it in its position there because I still need to dial up the uh, coilovers for all the weight of the sheet metal. But yeah, that is ride height on this guy. I think it's looking pretty darn good myself. I'll drop this one more time. Also, that is uh, a newly acquired by Holly uh, Company. I think it's called Frostbite, possibly. I'd have, or uh, Cold. Sorry, I'll have to look it up. There we go. That's... I think it's turning out pretty good. Pretty happy with it first time building this thing, so we will building anything really. Long way to go, but it sure is coming a long way, or has come a long way. Those are 15 by eight Krager smoothies. And yeah, like I said before, 235, 75, 15 front and rear. That is a four to nine inch rear end under this guy here. So I got a Ford nine inch rear end with a 3.7 posi rear end in it. I got disc brakes all around. That's a custom aluminum fuel tank that I had a guy here in my hometown help me build. And uh, yeah, this is a brand new bed by Mark M-A-R-K. They're out of the States and they manufacture really high quality stuff. I could see here, what do we got? Right there. There's the part number for you right now, 47 to 53. GM short step side. That is that. One more kind of neat little thing that I got going on here are these guys. Oh, I can't remember the name of them. Oh no, it's not good. Altman Latch Kit, A-L-T-M-A-N, Altman Latch. So it's a bear claw latch. Comes with the new piece that goes on there. And solid. I'll adjust that door handle so it's not sticking up all weird, but. Perfect. So yeah, bear with me. I will upload another video here about those uh, hood struts. I know a few people have asked about it, so I'll try to get on that. But for now, I hope this, uh, I hope this does.